This personalised assisted living studio is sponsored by the Anchor Society, designed as a flat uh, with a kitchen, a bathroom and a bedroom, gives us the opportunity to test our robots and other assistive technology in a realistic environment by inviting in our end users, people who are going to be um, using this technology in their everyday lives, gives us the opportunity to understand what people's specific needs are, how they're going to interact with the robots in their own home environment, and allows us to validate and do safety testing before we take it out into the real world. This studio apartment is instrumented with sensors, so we have sensors on the drawers, on the fridge, cupboard doors. We've also got sensors to detect where people are uh, when they've got out of bed. All of this information helps to provide the intelligence and the contextual awareness that is needed to operate the robot. So with this information, the robot is then able to respond appropriately to a specific person's needs. So for instance, we've got a sensor on the medicine drawer. So when a person opens the drawer to take their medicines out, Molly knows. Molly is able to come up to the person and give them any appropriate advice. This technology can support people in living independently by offering advice and support, encouragement, reminders. Uh, it can empower them to stay healthy and well for as long as possible.